Okay, okay, hello. Welcome to your grammar class. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's continue talking about the indefinite pronouns, yeah? So let me share this part with you. Okay, so let's see. In some cases, um, we don't identify, okay, the difference between every indefinite pronoun. And you know that one of these one is when you talk about things, the other ones when you talk about people and the other ones when you talk about places, yes? Okay, let's discover this one right now. Okay, let me check this part, this one. Okay, I found, uh, let me see, this chart, and this one is also in English, but in Spanish, because it is necessary that you know the meaning of that. In Spanish for identifying, okay, what is the indefinite pronoun that you use in every sentence or maybe when you talk. So let's see, for example, body, you know that this one, you use the suffix for referring to a people, okay, referring to people. For example, every, you know that the meaning in Spanish of this one is todo, yes? Everybody, so you have here the meaning in Spanish, todos, todo el mundo, yes? Okay, so let's see, when you talk about one, so that's mean you say this one is only one person, yeah? Everyone, okay, todos, todo el mundo, okay? It's almost the same meaning. Let's see, when you use somebody, so that's mean you say alguna persona, algunas personas, yes? Someone, alguien, okay? Any, okay, anybody, cualquiera, okay? Anyone, cualquiera, or in some cases, nadie, okay? No, that's mean this one is nothing, okay? Nobody, nadie, ninguno, no one, nadie, yes? Okay, so this one is the meaning in Spanish. Okay, good morning. Let's see, when you talk about things, okay? So you say everything, okay? Todo, something, only one thing, okay? Algo, anything, cualquier cosa, or maybe nothing, okay? And nothing, nada in Spanish, yes? Okay, when you talk about place, you use where. Everywhere, en todas partes, okay, todo lugar. Somewhere, en algún lugar. Anywhere, en cualquier lugar. Okay, or nowhere in ningún lugar. Yes. So these grand are the indefinite pronoun. Okay, but in that case, in the unit, we only study okay with the suffix. Uh, let me see, body, or with the perfect body. Okay, let me see, think or one. So in that case, we don't talk about where. Yeah, but it's necessary that you understand the meaning. Okay. So that's me. You talk about when you use body. It's specifically person. Okay, one specifically person, okay? Think when you talk about different things, okay? That's mean objects, yes? Okay, so let's see. This one is the meaning in Spanish, and now we continue, yes? Okay, let me check this part. So this one are the rules, and remember, one of this one we use in affirmative statements, and other ones in negative, okay? For example, okay, uh, let me see, with a suffix, with a perfect sum, or every and no, you use in affirmative statements, okay? And when you use with any, that's mean anything, anybody. So this one is in negative, okay? So that's good. Let's see, now let's continue in that part. Okay, in just no questions, using definite pronouns with some, any, or every. Is someone home? Does anyone eat apples? Is everyone here? Okay, that's mean you use specifically this one in questions, yes? You can use indefinite pronouns with no in yes, no question, yes, but this one is not formal. Okay, that's mean it's not mm, common to use in a conversation. Is nobody home, okay? So you say, is someone home? Okay, is nobody, is not common, okay, when you speak, but yes, you can use it, okay? So, and you answer with just no question. Yes, he is, yes, she is, etc. Okay, so type of statements that use indefinite pronouns. This one is a chart, okay, in which you identify which, uh, let me see, indefinite pronoun you use in affirmative statements, negative statements, yes, no questions. Okay, for example, anyone, anybody, anything, you don't use in affirmative statements, yes? You only use in negative and questions, 
Yes, okay, negative statements. Yes, it's possible to use them. A question also. Okay, someone, somebody, and something you don't use in affirmative statements. Okay, yes, I'm sorry, you use in affirmative statements. Okay, you don't use in negative statements. Yes, in question, yes, you use them. Everyone, everybody, and everything, affirmative statements, yes. Negative statements, no. Question, yes. No one, nobody, and nothing, affirmative statements, yes. Negative statements, no. Questions, no. Okay, so in that chart, you identify in which cases you use, okay, every indefinite pronoun, affirmative, negative, or in some cases, question, yes? So now let's pass to grammar application and we remember this information, yeah? The use of every indefinite pronoun, okay, if it is affirmative, negative, or questions. Okay, so let's see. The first one, this one is an affirmative statement, yeah? We sent everyone in our class an invitation to our international dinner party last night. So it's affirmative, it is possible to use everyone. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Number two, Gladdy wanted to bring, okay, in that case, does her. She brought some from Laos. Okay. What do you think is the best answer in that case? Remember the rules. Yeah. Okay. Genesis. Lina. So check, yeah. So let's see, number two. What do you think in that case? What is the best answer? Remember, we are on page 232, yeah? This one is the exercise on page 232. Okay, so let's see, tell me. Okay. Somebody. Last... Okay, so you say that this one is somebody. Okay, so let's see. Gladi wanted to bring that's all. She brought some. Okay, so we talk about a person or a thing. First one identify. Something. Ah, okay. Yes, because we talk about a specific thing. In that case, we say something. Yes, okay. So you need to identify if you talk about a person or a thing. Okay, I didn't know any about little food before the party. I didn't know. Anything. Okay. Anything. Anything. Yes. Okay. In that case, we talk about okay different things. Number four. Some brought some delicious Mexican enchiladas. We have two options here. Somebody. Okay. Somebody is one. Yeah. Someone. Uh huh. And someone. Yes. So that's mean. We use both, okay? Someone or somebody, yes? Because we talk about person. Okay, number five, no. Brought any Chinese food. In that case? No one. No one? Okay, no one, yes. And also? Nobody. Okay, nobody, exactly. No one and nobody. Yes, both are possible. Okay, number six. Maybe that's because our class doesn't have any. Anybody. Okay, anybody, exactly. Okay, let's see, anybody. Okay, maybe that's because our class doesn't have anybody from China in it. And that's all, is the only possibility? Anyone. Okay, anyone, yes. So we use anyone. Okay. Number seven, every was delicious. So people ate a lot. Everything. Okay, everything, yes. Everything is delicious. It was delicious, so people ate a lot. By 10, there was no... left to eat. So we played games and dance instead. By 10, there was no... 
In that case, we talk about food. So that's mean we use? Nothing. 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 Okay. Nothing. Exactly. Okay. Nothing. That's good. Okay. So let me clear this part. Yeah. Okay. I think you complete. Excellent. So let me stop share here and I will practice. Yes. Okay, so let's see. In that case, we use somebody, anybody, and nobody. Yes, remember, okay, the rules or the usage according to the book. Yes, remember, we use, um, let me see, somebody when you talk about a group of people. Okay, excellent. And remember, do you use this one in affirmative statements? Okay, anybody, in that case, also when you talk about people, nobody when you talk about people and remember you use this one in affirmative statements but any you use in negative yes okay so let's see number one there is somebody anybody or nobody imagine that you are in the classroom okay there is okay Nobody. Okay, nobody in the classroom. So let's see, you can say nobody? Yes. And also we can use somebody. It's possible both, yeah? Okay. There isn't somebody, anybody, or nobody. Okay, this one is negative statement. And we can use only one of these words because this one is negative. Ah, okay, anybody, yes. Okay. Next one, there is at a school at this time of the day, it's closed, okay. In that case? Nobody. Okay, nobody, exactly. This one is not negative, yes. Okay, so it's not possible to use any. This one is an affirmative statement, but you say that there is nobody at school, yeah? Okay, who are you going to visit? I'm going to visit somebody, anybody, or nobody. But it's a secret, okay? Who are you going to visit? I'm going to visit? Somebody. Uh-huh, okay, somebody, yes but it's a secret. Okay, what's happening? I don't know. Okay, what's happening? Nobody. Okay, no, nobody. Anybody. anybody, okay, anybody. Anybody knows. Okay, do you know in Rio de Janeiro? That's mean if you meet. Do you know? Somebody. Okay, somebody. Okay, somebody. But let's check the chart, okay, that you have on page 232. Let's see. Okay, somebody. We using questions? Yes or no? Yes, it is possible, okay? Remember, someone, somebody, and something, you're using yes, no questions, okay? Who did you meet? The party was over. Who did you meet? Somebody? Anybody? Or nobody? The party was over. Okay. ¿A quién conociste? So you say? Nobody. Okay, nobody, exactly. Anadie, yeah, the party was over. Okay, so let's see, I'm lonely. I don't have anybody. anybody to talk, exactly. I don't have anybody to talk to. Okay, excellent. So let's see, now something, anything and nothing. Okay, in that case, we talk about things, yes? Okay, it's too dark, I can't see. Nothing. 
Okay, nothing, yes. We have two options, yes, nothing or anything. Yeah, it's possible. Let's see, what did Jane say? Something. Okay, something, exactly, because this one is affirmative. Something, she didn't say? Anything. Okay, she didn't say anything. Let's see. I want something. Something. Okay. I want something to drink. I'm thirsty. This bath is empty. There is nothing. Nothing. Okay. There is nothing in it. Exactly. There is nothing in it. There is to do the city. I'm bored. Something. No, something. Okay. Okay, there is something to do this city. I'm bored. Okay, something. Yes, it's when you visit a new place. Yeah. Okay, I want to read. Something. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, something. Yes. Something about Steve Jobs. I'll buy the book about him. Do you know anything? Okay, so let's see. And it is possible to use anything in a question? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Do you know anything about insects? Children need to do or to play with? Something. Something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something. And you know this one, yeah? It is necessary that the children have, okay, a lot of toys or something to do, yeah? <laughs> okay, so the last part, everybody, everything, or everywhere, okay? In that case, it's a combination, okay? When you talk about people, okay, things, or in some cases, places. Okay, so let's see, needs friend, what do you think? Everybody. Okay, everybody, yes. Everybody needs friend, yeah, okay? One, two, three. Yeah, but everybody needs friends. Team knows everything. Everything. Okay, everything about computer. Okay, everything about computer. This when you uh, let me see. Know different things about a specific thing. Yeah. Okay, he goes everywhere. Everything. Okay, everywhere. he goes. Everywhere, everywhere, exactly. Everywhere. Yes, this one is a place. So he goes everywhere with his motorcycle. He never drives his car. Okay. I like all the people in this room. Everybody. Everybody. Okay. Everybody is friendly. Yes. Okay. Everybody is friendly. This hotel is comfortable and everything. Everything. Okay. Everything is clean. Yeah. Everything. What do you think? Okay. Let's have breakfast. Everybody. <laughs> okay. Everybody woke up hungry. Okay. Everybody. Let's see. Gabriel's room is a mess. There are clothes. Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. That's mean in every place. Yes. Everywhere. Okay. You are right. Everything. Everything. Okay, you're right. Everything you said about Chris is true. Okay. Everything. Exactly. Okay, excellent. So you identify this part. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So let's see. Now we pass to this one. Okay. In that case, this one is a combination of every indefinite pronoun, but we have others. For example, nothing. Okay. Someone, everything, everywhere, etc. Okay, so let's see. Someone or no one lives here. The house is empty. No one. Okay. No one. So you say no one. Let me change this part. Yes. Um, are you okay? Well, let's see. The box is empty. There isn't. What do you think is the best? Someone, anyone? Ah, okay. So let's anyone? check. Anyone? Anything, okay. The box is empty, there isn't anything in it. So we talk about an object, yeah? Okay. Next one, did you go interesting during the summer break? Anywhere. Okay, okay, so this one is a place, anywhere, yes. Please, 
Keep your password secret. Don't tell anyone. Okay, don't tell anyone. Yes, okay, this one is a secret. Robbie never used his car. He goes by motorcycle. Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. He goes everywhere by motorcycle, exactly, to a place. There's left to eat in the house. I'm going to the supermarket. Okay, so you analyze if you talk about a person, thing, or place. Something. Somewhere. Okay, there's something left to eat in the house. I'm going to the supermarket. Okay, let me check. Nothing in that case. Yes, there's nothing. Okay, you talk about different things. Yes, okay. So that means you go to the supermarket because it is necessary to buy different things. Yeah, okay, next one. There's to sit. Shall we go to another restaurant? Anywhere. Okay, there's nowhere in that case. <laughs> okay, but we don't study this one in class, yeah? Okay, I've looked everywhere, anywhere for my glasses, but I still can't find them. Everywhere. Okay, everywhere, yes. That house has been empty for years, okay? Lives there. Someone, anyone, everyone, no one, anybody, everybody, nobody. That house has been empty for years. Okay. No one lives there. Okay. And if you check the book, it's in third person. Yes. So we apply the rule on the book. Yeah. Okay. It's a great hotel. The beds are comfortable. And so we practice this one in the last exercise. Everything. <laughs> okay. Everything. Everything is clean. Yes. They went to Spain last year. This year they want to go somewhere, nowhere different. Somewhere. Okay. Somewhere. Yes. Somewhere. That's mean travel to another country. Okay. I like the people here. Mm -hmm. we have everybody. <laughs> okay. Everybody. Everyone is really friendly. Yeah. Okay. I'm hungry. I want something okay something to eat yes i lost my mobile phone i look for it everywhere okay so that's mean you check the place everywhere yeah no one or someone will meet you at the airport someone someone Some, someone okay yes someone okay i'm sorry but there's i can do to help you Nothing. Okay, I'm sorry, but there's nothing. Yes, I can do to help you. Do you know Tony? Yes. Everybody. Okay, everybody knows him, exactly. Okay, that's mean he's famous. We have tried. Everything. Okay, but the cat won't come out of the tree. We have tried everything but the cat won't come out of the tree that's mean you you try to do different things yeah okay for rescuing let's see i think there's something or everything in my eye it hurts something something okay okay for example mom, mom, help me please i have something in my eye yeah yes okay he's eaten everything or nothing in the fridge so he needs to go shopping Everything. Okay, everything, yes. Okay, is there everyone or anyone at home? Anyone. Anyone. Anyone, yes, anyone. My friend didn't know nothing about the homework or anything about the homework. This one is negative. Anything. Anything. Okay, anything, yes. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for? Someone. someone. Okay, someone, yes. Sophia has a bad memory. She can't remember anything. Anything, okay. You can have a shower. There's in the bathroom. Okay, you can have a shower. There's 
in the bathroom. Okay. No one? Let me check if it is no one. Yes, no one. Have you seen my wallet? I can find it. Anywhere. Okay, anywhere, exactly. That means you look in every place and you don't find it. Okay. We didn't go somewhere or anywhere. anywhere. Okay, we stay at home. Anywhere, yes. The teacher said, but I didn't understand him. Anything. Okay, the teacher said something, but I didn't something. understand him. Yes, okay, something. <laughs> There's at the door. Can you see who it is? Someone. Okay, someone, yes. I put my glasses down, but I can't remember where. Okay. Okay, yes, no. let's see. Okay, let me check somewhere. I put my glasses down somewhere, but I can't remember where. Okay, that's meaning which plate you place. Okay, the woman ate nothing or something because she wasn't hungry. Nothing. 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 Yes, okay. I'm going to Paris next week. Do you know who lives there? Somebody. Okay. Somewhere. Okay. Somebody. Anyone? Do you know anyone? Okay. Who lives there? Conoces a alguien? Yeah. Okay. I invite. I invited no one or everyone from my class to my birthday party. Everyone. Everyone. Yes. Okay. Harry lives on this road. Anyway. Okay, somewhere. Harry lives somewhere on this road, but you don't know yeah, exactly the number of the house or maybe the name of the street. Someone, no one lives here. The house is empty. No one. No one. Okay, no one. Yes, and the last one. It's boring here. There's somewhere. Okay, there's nowhere to go. Okay, so that means you don't have another place. Yeah, to go. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Excellent. So let me check. Okay, right now we have a short recess. Vamos a tener un corto receso. Okay, virtual break. Okay, so let me check on your notebook, please. Okay, so you write five times this expression. Yo soy, or maybe I am, if you want to do in English or in Spanish. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, lo escribe en su cuaderno cinco veces. Yo soy. Five times. Yo soy, yo soy, yo soy, yo soy, yo soy. Yes? Okay. So you tell me when you finish, yeah? Okay. Usted me dice cuando termine de escribir cinco veces yo soy. De acuerdo. Ok, muy bien. Cuando ya haya terminado de escribir cinco veces yo soy, usted escribe cinco aspectos de su personalidad, pero que sean graciosos o divertidos. Ok, cinco aspectos de su personalidad, graciosos o divertidos. Okay. Vamos a ver. Usted me dice cuando ya haya finalizado. Okay. Y después que usted ya haya escrito cinco veces yo soy y los cinco aspectos de su personalidad divertidos o graciosos, ok, entonces usted va a poner tres aspectos donde usted escriba yo nunca, nunca, ok, cosas que usted creería que nunca haría, por, por ejemplo, ok, en mi caso yo nunca, nunca, Uh, saltaría de un puente 
con un arnés. No, me da mucho miedo. Ok, así que no lo haría. Yo nunca, nunca, vamos a ver, me subiría a una torre. Miss. Dígame. ¿Y eso cuántas veces? Lo de eso, de, de yo nunca. Nunca, nunca, tres veces. Ok. Yo okay. nunca, nunca comería, uh, vamos a ver, hígado. <ríe> es algo que no me agrada. Ok. Te digo los aspectos nunca, nunca. Ok, tres veces yo soy, perdón, cinco veces yo soy y tres veces yo nunca, nunca. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok, comenzamos. Vamos a ver, ¿quién quiere ser el primero en decirme sus aspectos graciosos? Yo soy. Ok, lo voy a hacer por orden. Levántame la mano si quieres, ¿sí? Y luego los nunca, nunca. Ok, me dice cuando ya haya finalizado, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, vamos a ver. Ok, Abby, ¿ya finalizó? Aarón, ¿ya finalizó? Jimena Relajeño, Natalia Torres. Yo, yo casi, mi, yo casi. Ok, veo que lo está pesando muy bien. Algo más, yo nunca, nunca me pondría una serpiente en mis hombros. Le tengo fobia a las serpientes, así que eso sí, nunca, nunca lo haría. Bueno, creo que tengo más varios, tengo más nunca, nunca que yo soy. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver qué tan temerosos somos o qué tan aventureros somos este día. Vamos a ver. Uh, Soto, ya terminó. Ari, Diego de León, Gerardo, Sasso, Michelle Arana, Rafael, Valentina. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Quién comienza? Ok, Diego de León. Yo nunca volaría en un helicóptero. Ok. Pero en un avión sí. <risa> ok, yo una vez volé en helicóptero y sí se siente feo. Ok, y no fue por, vamos a ver, por comodidad, sino que fue una experiencia extrema, fue para los terremotos. Entonces, de donde nosotros estábamos, tuvieron que sacarnos en un helicóptero porque no había acceso a ninguna calle. Así que por ahí. Vamos a ver, dice Natalia Torres, yo nunca nadaría con tiburones. Muy bien. Aarón, yo nunca haría paracaidismo. Oh, sí, creo que tampoco lo haría, Aaron. Está bien. Ok. Bueno, no sé si le teme a las alturas, Aarón. Ok. Los que somos temerosos a las alturas, casi no podríamos hacer ese tipo de cosas. Ok. Natalia Torres dice, sí haría paracaidismo. Excelente. Ok. Nicole Flores dice, ama las alturas. Ok, quiere decir que entonces haría, creo que se llama Bonji, ¿verdad? Ok, Michelle Arena dice que le temen las serpientes. Iguales, ok. <ríe> De todo, ok, excelente. Muy bien. Vamos a ver, ¿qué más? Nunca, nunca haría. Comer insectos, ok. Mm -mm. Así como los tailandeses, ¿verdad? Ok, Abby, dígame. Oye, ya, ya terminé. No sé si el de yo soy sería como así, no, no le entendí también así como divertir y esas cosas, pero yo la que puse eh, es, yo soy a veces no tan normal, eh, <risa> okay. muy entusiasta y alegre, yo soy divertida, yo soy a veces diferente de los demás, yo soy bien eléctrica. Ok. Y los de yo, los de yo nunca, nunca, y yo puse yo, no, no, yo nunca, nunca maduraré. Yo nunca, nunca me pondría así como si una serpiente o un animal así reptiloso, así como dragones de cubo. No sé si me tocarían, no, ¿verdad? No, okay. no. 
Pero, pues, yo nunca, nunca me eh, eh, dejaré a mis papás y yo nunca, nunca intentaré una persona. Y yo nunca, nunca entraré. No sé, no me acuerdo cómo se llama esta fobia, pero yo demasiada. Me dan miedo los ascensores. Mm. Que, que no le gusta estar a uno encerrado en mis cosas. En lugares encerrados. Ok. Ajá, pero bueno, yo nunca, nunca me entraré en una cueva, sí, ¿verdad? No, no. Ahí me muero. Ok. Excelente, muy bien. Vamos a ver, Diego dice, yo nunca, nunca comería cosas extrañas que en otros países puede ser normal. Muy bien, sí, estoy de acuerdo. Ok, a menos que alguien me dijera que no trae ningún efecto secundario, pero para asegurarnos de eso, Diego, creo que costaría mucho. Ok, nunca iría en lo profundo del mar. Ok, muy bien, dice lo mismo. Ok, ¿usted es capaz de cuidar a un león? Wow, ok. Nunca iría al espacio. Imagínense, hay tantas personas que pagan millones por ir al espacio, ¿ok? Bueno, no, sí está bien, es la galaxia, se puede ver los planetas y todo, pero no le encuentro algo como gracioso para poder ver, ¿ok? Excelente, vamos a ver, siguiente. <risa> ok, muy bien. Ah, sí, ok, es cierto, millones pagan, así es. Nunca, nunca me embriagaría, muy de acuerdo. Ok, es el punto de perder la noción. Me parece perfecto. Ok, películas de terror. Estoy de acuerdo con usted, Gerardo. Ok, yo no veo películas de terror tampoco. Sí, una vez me invitaron al cine y créanme que pasé con los ojos cerrados. No pude, ok. Excelente, nunca mataría. Creo que es algo que no haríamos. Muy bien. Ok. <ríe> Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Ok. Excelente. Vamos a ver algo más. Ok. Viajar en un crucero. Mm, sí, sobre todo porque el viaje es muy largo. Ok. Y no sabemos ni en qué parte vamos a quedar. Ok. Todo sea. Perfecto. Muy bien. Vamos a ver qué más. Ok. Muy bien. Ok, algo más. Vamos a ver, Natalia Torres, ¿qué es lo que nunca haría? Ok, imagínense, tenemos tantas cosas que quizás no haríamos. <ríe> ok, perfecto. Tocaría un sapo. Oh, sí. <ríe> ok, son muy extraños, ok. Es decir, no le gustan los... Ajá. Ok, nunca tocaría un sapo. Está bien, me parece. Ok, o comer garrobo. Bueno, nunca lo he probado. Ok. <ríe> ok, dicen que es rico, no lo sé. Ok, nunca lo he probado, pero tampoco creo que sería capaz de hacerlo. Reventaría cohetes. Mm, es muy peligroso. Exacto. Ok. Sí. <ríe> Ok, muy bien, excelente. Ok, hablamos de aspectos de comida, de cosas que quizás no haríamos y que sí haríamos. Ok, muy bien. Hay unos que le temen a las alturas y otros no. Que le temen a los insectos y otros no. Ah, me parece perfecto. Nunca va a insultar a sus papás. Eso es excelente. Ok. Carne cruda. Mm, sí, ese es otro aspecto también. Ok. Bueno, en las carnes hay diferentes tipos, ¿ok? Término medio, término, etcétera. Ok, yo no me puedo los términos. Sí, es cierto, en algunos países se come el cerebro del mono. Oli, perdón, se me desconectó. Ok. Dígame, Nati. Ah, ok. Um, igual que había ahí, no haría lo de, no sé, ponerme como una serpiente en el cuello, hay gente que hace eso. No, uh -huh. no, no. Ok. Solo no. Creo que eh, en Fayúa no. hay una parte donde hacen eso. No. Un poco no, no nadar con tiburones, solo no. Ok, no. ok. Y, no. Um, tal vez ir como un bosque en la noche, así como a medianoche, no, no lo haría. Ok, muy bien. Quiere decir que no podríamos ir al chalate, al pital, a acampar. O probablemente sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Si va acompañada. Bueno, ok, acá, pero sola no, sola no. Ok, se tiraría de un paracaídas. Sería una experiencia fabulosa, pero daría miedo. Bueno, en caso daría sí. miedo. 
Ok, excelente chicos. Muy bien, conocimos un poco acerca de nosotros. Gracias por su participación y los vemos.